What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Madden 24 franchise video. I'm your host, No ID. We are taking a look at the game that got me booted from the league. Um, remember, I told y'all I had like 20 something videos that we recorded that we needed to review. This is one of them. We still got like 30 videos <laughs> to go through, but I wanted to do this one because this this one's a doozy. So, uh, as you can see, this is week one of season three, I think. Um, and as the title says, this is the game that got me booted. So, we come out on offense. We'll talk about it. We'll see what y'all think or whatever. But um, as you can see, this is a new squad. So, we're no longer doing the two tight ends in this video. But I got more two tight end videos to, um, to drop. Uh, what happened at this point, I traded a lot of my big name players. As you can see, my running back is new, Beverly. I traded a lot of the guys in like two for one deals so that my entire team, offense and defense, is traded. So at this point, it's bowl of bus. You know what I'm saying? We're coming out swinging. I'm checking out their abilities. Got a lot of knockouts, so I got to make sure I, you know, don't run into those. And so that's what it is. Good defense here. Uh, my first read was the drag, not open. Uh, the corner, not open. This out, not open. This in, not open. Um, and then at the point where I might want to, you know, uh, scramble up and step up into the pocket and scramble, he's already shed. So that's not happening. So, good play by him. Second and 21. Never want that on first down. Oh, actually, I can't remember if this center was traded or not. He may have been. He may not have been. Ooh. That's blue, baby. <laughs> that's blue. That's a, that's a good pass. And he got bumped. That's crazy because I've seen the same scenario where this person right here reacts and picks the ball. We got that right in, right in the pocket. We could have really threw this too. But that's a, that's a good pass. I'm impressed by that. What defense is this that he's coming out of? Is it Dime? Maybe. I love the way I didn't take forever to make my decision here. I didn't wait for anything. This guy's wide open. Take it. Actually, nobody else would have, was open anyway, but that's perfect. <clears throat> that's what we want to see. So far, so good. We had the one sack, pause, but um, we're doing good. And I, I let them linemen go to work. That should have been a touchdown. But I'm trying to just be patient, you know, one play at a time. Don't force anything. They're giving me the underneath take it. Especially with his team, because he has so many knockouts. It's like, I have to try to catch the ball in open space. You see, I'm checking to see who got what. Tried to get the first there, it didn't work out. Third and two. This is not man, I don't think, because of where that slot corner was at. Ooh, that was close. Blew it. This is a good drive, though. This is a very good drive. Very good drive. If I do say so myself. That ain't it. Drake London don't got the speed or the agility for that one. There we go. Now, something I want to point out right here on this play. Usually when I run this play, I either streak this guy and drag this guy or I drag this guy, streak this guy. Because nobody is lined up on him, I decide to leave him on this out because I'm like, I can get this quick out. He shouldn't be able to get down fast enough. And if he does, I should be able to fit that in where he moves. So if he moves down here, I should be able to get it right here. If he doesn't move, I should be able to get this and he should pick up a block. What actually happens is I'm surprised because 
that's his user. I wasn't expecting that to be his user. So now I'm low key watching the user. I haven't looked over here at all. I know what's over here, but I haven't looked over here. So I can't throw anything over here because I don't know what's going on. So I'm watching him. He steps up, but I can't throw this or this. But because he bites on this, he comes open. So I got a window right here to throw it. And that's what I do. Bam. Touchdown. Ooh -wee. And it's blue. <laughs> Let's get it, baby. All right, so defense. He's not returning that. <clears throat> so I decide defensively I'm going to start sending pressure. Like pretty much sending pressure all the time. He comes out in single wing close. Uh, since he's in single back, my initial thought is stop the, stop the run. It just so happened that it was not a run. All right, so right here, I'm waiting to gap shoot. If he goes right, I'm gap shooting here. If he goes left, I'm gap shooting here. But he turns right, so I'm gap shooting. I'm thinking this is a run. You can see me <laughs> make this tackle. Well, I made contact to make the tackle. It just so happened it wasn't um, a run. Luckily... Uh, who came in on this side? This guy came in and made the tackle. So it worked out. So. Uh, they, they. They picked one. This was one of the plays that they pointed out and said that there was something fishy going on because this guard tries to pick me up. Which I don't see anything wrong with that. I'm standing right here and I'm crashing to make a tackle. So whatever. <laughs> Anyways, we get the sack. <clears throat> All right, now he's an empty. I'm still going to blitz. For those of you that don't know, if you only send three, as long as you blitz your user and um, have these green bars, you'll be able to get sheds from your three down lineman. So that's what I'm doing right here. This isn't mugging the gap. I'm not doing anything illegal. As you can see, all of these people still get picked up. They double team him. He's double team. He's picked up. He throws it to my user. I mean, not my user, my defender. He throws it right to me. That's a pick. I'll take it. So, I'm still not saying nothing crazy, but I could be biased. Anyways, we got the ball again. We back at it. Get stopped for no gain there. That's the end of the first. Pressing over here. I wonder if that's why I'm audible. I guess I just wasn't comfortable with the look, so I audible to a run. But that didn't really amount for anything. So I go back to what I wanted to do before. I guess this time I'm actually gonna call it. Oh, circle is what? Oh, I saw him. I actually saw him. That's crazy. So the reason I'm surprised is because usually when we go back and look at videos like this, I always miss these reads. I see somebody wide open. I'm like, dang, I didn't see him. So when I just saw this dude wide open, I'm not sure why he's, why is he open like that? Is he a man? Cause he's guarding him. He's guarding him. He's guarding him. I think he's guarding him. I guess this person's supposed to be here or something, or maybe he did an adjustment. But usually when we look back at these videos, I see this man butt naked. I'm like, dang, I didn't see him in a game, but I actually saw him. So that surprised me. I actually saw him. And add seven to the board. We looking, we looking fantastic right now. All right, back on defense. I'm coming out in, what's that, quarter? Yep. So same thing here. Now, as you can see, I'm getting sheds. 
Usually when you rush through, you don't get sheds, but because of what I said, I'm getting sheds now. He's coming out. He's coming out. But we didn't get pressure quick enough, so he was able to find this dude. And honestly, I, did, I didn't have a choice, honestly. I had to follow him, because if I don't, I mean, maybe he picks him up, but he's out of position. He's in decent position to pick this up. But I mean, I had to choose. Remember I told you that's the thing you want to do. You always want to make the user choose because they're always wrong. Unless you're wrong. You know what I'm saying? They're only right when you're wrong. And you're only wrong when you make a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I got to uh, trademark that right there. So anyways, same thing. We get a shed this time. I send a blitz too. So we sent one, two, three, four, five. Got a sack. How many did he have blocking? One, two, three, four, five. So we sent five, he blocked five, and his dude got ran over. He got straight up ran over. I mean, that is what it is. Boom, little man, excuse me. Come here. Nothing illegal about that. Nothing illegal about that. All right. Speed option. <clears throat> Thankfully, he held on to it. All right, same thing here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to come out and watch. Yeah. Oh. And on this fourth and 13. We didn't get any sheds. He just makes a bad throw. <laughs> so we back on offense. I'm in the zone. Lord. Usually when I get on fire with this, I throw an interception. So let's see what happens. I know it's man, so I'm trying to set something up for it. There we go. Another blue. Let's go. <clears throat> looking good. Looking good. Another man. Oh, that was blue too. Why was it such a bad throw? That was a touchdown. Oh, you know who else is a touchdown? Remember I told you it's always somebody. Well, at least I threw it to somebody that was open. He's actually open. I just missed the throw. Maybe I got nervous because this guy was right here. But look at him. Butt naked. Touchdown. That's a butt naked touchdown right there. I missed it. But at least I missed it because I made another good throw. It's not like I took a sack or threw a pick because I didn't see the read. But hey. Oh, I thought we had it. They're going to bring that back. That sucks. Oh, get that block. Take that. Nice. That's a nice run right there. Hmm, what do I do here? Oh, that's smart. So I see that the safety over here has to guard him. So I moved on to this side, put more distance between them. Probably gonna make him run a flat or something. It looks like he's on the out right now. Yeah, now I'll give him a flat. Now I'm trying to move people out of the way. So I make him go here, put more bodies in the way of the safety. Why I waited so long to throw it, I don't know, but we got it. So that's the thought process behind that one. Two minute warning. I was gonna run it to the right, but I see this. Um, oh, I did run it to the right. But that receiver was left alone right there. So I thought I was changing it to do something about it. Now, this is not something I would typically run. I'm, I'm over here, see, because I got Omaha active, I'm over here trying to draw stuff up. And this is where mistakes can happen because I've never tried this before. I'm, I'm basically labbing right now and I shouldn't be. Look at this, this is terrible. This is terrible. And that's exactly why I lost my ability because I was over here trying to cook something up that I never, never labbed, never practiced before. Then I caught this play, which actually doesn't make sense. And I threw a pick. 
What a dork. If you look at if you look at the scenario I'm in. Okay. I'm in a third and goal. Nine yards. What about this play gives me any confidence that I'm gonna pick it up? Nothing. I should have called a timeout. This is dumb. Or I should have drew something else up. Like uh but this isn't it. This isn't gonna get me a first down. I could have made put him on an out, a, a out to the goal line, a wheel, or something like that. I could have did a hitch and a post or something. Like this play was never gonna get me. This wasn't gonna get me a touchdown. And then also this throw, he was supposed to, he has an out, remember? He has an out. So when I know that he's about to break, I'm making this throw. For whatever reason, instead of breaking out, he just comes this way. It makes no sense at all. And we throw a pick, so. All right, he's back under center, so I'm back in through cub. We get a stop. Same thing. I know that at some point he's gonna try to throw it deep out of this. If that's what he does. He runs to the outside and he throws beaters. Like that's sometimes you gotta know the personnel. You gotta know who you're playing. Let me get in again. Let's take another look at this. So he tries to block him, he blocks him, he comes in, I come around this way. But like I said, we're trying to get pressure. We don't want nobody to have time to be doing nothing. A lot of the games that I lose, y'all will see stuff like that happens. This is a good play call. Right here, we just make sure we don't give up a touchdown because it's, uh, it's the second quarter. Oh, no. This is terrible. Okay. So, good defense here. Okay, nice. We had that cover. Had that cover to a T. Bring it back. All right, so he was looking for him. I cut him off in the middle. Then he playmakers him, throws him into the deep third. We catch that. Bring it back to the 42. And I'm hoping that I at least get enough yards to... Oh, I took a sack. Wow. Can't do that. Especially when um I had X is open right here. R1, no, but X was open. R1's open now, but I'm sacked, so that's unfortunate. Ah, I just saw something that I should have did differently. Oh, nice. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, I caught it. Oh, I'm juking. Oh, oh, that was a smart play. That was a smart play. Okay. Now, when he was right here, this play call was fine. I've turned him into a post. That's cool. When he moved him out here, I feel like I should have reset the play, put him back on his little hook thingy, put him on a flat, and then brought the offense this way. I did essentially still bring the offense this way, but less efficiently, I think. And the heads up part about this play that I'm actually proud of, I, I like when I do smart stuff. I only got three seconds. I'm not going to score. I'm not going to score. Or I won't say I'm not going to score because it's quite possible I could juke right here and score. But it's also quite possible I can juke and get tackled and run out of time. So I give myself up. I call a timeout so I can get three. That's a heads up play right there. That's what wins your Super Bowls right there. Like, that's, that's how you win the important games. You got to stay focused, stay in the game. All right. He's in four slots, so I'm almost certain I came out in three cub. I did. Wait, how did he get to the four? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did he take the ball out or was he away maybe he was clipping the game because he submitted these clips and that's how i end up getting in the situation anyway that's how i end up getting booted 
Okay, so he was just late, probably submitting clips, complaining, all that good stuff. All right, so this time we didn't get the stop. Gains eight yards. We don't get it this time either. So now he's just going back to running. Drops back to pass. Oh, how is that not mine? <laughs> how is that not mine? I, oh my gosh, that was, I'm, I'm actually, I got some good user this game, man. I'm doing some decent usering right here. I, I follow four all the way over. I was about to call him Rashi Rice, but I'm pretty sure that's probably not him. I see this coming and I also see this. So I turn around, bam. All I had to do was turn left and jump. I was just too late, too late. But we're making it hard for them. Hmm. Good tackle. Making them work, no quick scores. Oh, oh! See what I'm saying? He's worried about the pressure, so he's got to make these quick reads. He's making throws that are. I mean, I guess technically that was open, but not really. It's not a comfortable throw to make. Should have been picked off. Right, third and inches. Ooh, what is this? I don't know. Oh, it don't matter. We got we got the first, but I did some adjustments on this one, didn't I? Oh, because he's in trips tight in. Okay. That was crazy. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six at the line. Let's see how many actually come. Pause. Good stop. Same thing. Throws it deep. We get a knockout. Good stuff, Burke. He was a new addition. Him and Drake London came for uh, DK. So that's that's why we end up getting rid of DK Metcalf. Oh, that's a pick. That's right, earn your keep. I don't know why he threw this. I guess because it was I was jamming him. But even even with the jam, I got a guy right here. But he still threw that. I mean, nobody was open, though, except maybe he might have been able to throw the running back when the running back gets, like, right here. Bam. He might have been able to do that, but instead he throws a pick. We got no pressure that time, but since we got pressure earlier, I'm almost certain he can feel it. Like, he, he's got an eternal clock. It's just like the real NFL. He got an eternal clock. He don't know when it's coming or not. Run here. Loss a yard. Y'all know me, I like this screen. It's not open. I throw it away. I hate, but sometimes when you throw away this screen, it throws it right to the defender, as you can see. Luckily, he had already pressed triangle. Third and 11. He's at man coverage. So, setting up a man beater. Mmm, throw a pick. Ain't nothing get beat but me. Oh, snaps, and I missed the tackle. Ooh, hit that boy. That's all I wanna see back then. Run to the outside, as per usual. Throws it deep. This got to be a pick. This got to be a pick. Ah, come on, man. Somebody call for the ball. Other one, get the receiver. Oh, y'all can't pick it. I don't know what this is I got going on. It's probably about to work, though. Nope. Oh, holding. We'll take it. Or blocking the back. 
Third and 16. Oh, nice. Good stuff, Bolton. Bolton saved us right there. Thanks to Bolton, that was on that four yard game. I knew that this is who I needed to watch, but I had somebody manned up on him. He got cooked. I don't know why he turned his hips that way. I probably should have brought him down here and like set him right there. And even I would try to get him with my user. It just wasn't quick enough. Same here. I, I'm looking for the running back, but I just wasn't quick enough. Same thing here. So now he's just trying to get the ball out quick into the flats. So now that's an adjustment I have to make. Because he realizes he's, he's not going to have the time to do all of this extra stuff. Nice. That was nice. Good tackle. At least he got to go into the fourth few sometime in the fourth quarter. He didn't score. And he gets his first score in the fourth quarter. So if I say so myself, we've been doing pretty good so far. I always got to watch this. I'd be forgetting about this play. We had the uh, backer there too. He just couldn't make a play. So now it's 8-17. This is, it looks like man, but I don't think it is. Based on this corner's alignment, I don't think this is man. It could be. Get that quick underneath, stay in bounds. Let's see what uh, it was, man. Okay. Just doing it again, no pressure. We're up two scores, got the ball, fourth quarter. Oh, triangle, oh. Oh no. See, this is why this was an example of what I was talking about. Triangle's wide open. Triangle, I should be throwing a triangle right now. Look at all that separation. I didn't see him. Third and one. Trying to figure out what to do. I didn't like the play, so I'll call a timeout. Now I only got one time out left. First down, we good money. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, oh, that was a bad throw. He didn't get the pick though. I really should have just ran it. And also, I don't think I freeform this. If I freeform this a little bit up here, it's probably good, but he might break off and get it. Also, this guy, if I freeform that up or to the right, he might have been open too. Or if I just run the dang ball, none of that would have happened. Another knockout. Nobody's open. Had to throw it away. I punt here because I'm still two scores up. So I want him to use as much time as possible to score instead of just giving him a short field because then he'd be back in the game. He runs here. We stop him for three. I hope that was intentional grounding. Yeah, that can't be rough in the passer, right? Yeah, intentional grounding. Let's see what happened here. Oh yeah, I send. Okay, so here I'm sending one, two, three, four, five, six. Cause it's two people right here. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocking actually. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven. He left the running back in, right? 
Mm-mm. Nah, he left a, uh, <laughs> dang, he left the fullback in too. So he left one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He had eight blocking. We sent one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, but what do you want to do? I mean, you got to shift your line left. He got all his blockers going over. This is a play action. So, I mean, he can't do anything until after that. This blocker is going over here to block him. Nobody's blocking him. I mean, what are you going to do, brother? <clears throat> Oh, that's a, oh, that should have been a pick, but that linebacker doesn't have a lurker. So he gets the first. That's okay, because it's still taking a decent amount of time. Good shed right there. Nothing special. Ooh, he juked me. That was a good route by him. Keep him in bounds, run the clock more. He just got beat. Or even still. Still running the clock, basically. He hasn't scored yet, so. That's me. That's why you just keep playing defense, man. So let's see. Was there, was there pressure here? No pressure. I don't know who he was. I don't know if he was throwing it to the running back or... Jameson. Either way, it was mine. I'm pretty sure that's basically the game. Trying to run a clock here. I thought I could catch him sleeping with the um, RPO or the read option, but I couldn't. I passed the ball there, but that was because I was planning on making a quick read and Staying in bounds. He calls a timeout. So he hasn't given up yet. So this is the setup I was saying I should have did earlier. And this is what it results in. A 87 yard touchdown! That's the back breaker right there. Do I go for two here? A little insult to injury. Let's see if this works. Snap it now. Nope. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, that's a dot. <laughs> oh, that's a dot, man. That's crazy. I missed, uh, I can't never remember if it's Le Levis or, yeah, I'm gonna just say Levis. I miss Levis, man. Pause. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a turnover. We gotta be. Oh, no it ain't. Nice catch. Too much time. Cross it got open. Oh, that's a pick. What the? I'm glad they ain't called pass interference right there. He's kicking a field goal. Why is he kicking a field goal? I'm on side kick. I guess he was like, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just try to get my points. Uh, it looks like we're going to draw this out, but that's that's the game. So this is the game that got me booted. He said I was a nano blitzing and all this kind of stuff. Um, I don't agree with that opinion. I don't feel like I was nano blitzing. I was blitzing a lot. 
Um, I was, uh, you know, standing close to the line where I could gap shoot certain situations. Um, but to each his own. It's all good. Although we're not in that league anymore, we're still prospering, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, the channel been going up, man, lately. So I appreciate all y'all for watching. Appreciate that support, man. And, uh, yeah, we just gonna focus on the leagues that we are in. Uh, but let me know what y'all think in the comments. <clears throat> uh, because I know what's, I know some nano blitzes, not that I know how to do them, but I know of them. And uh, if I was doing those, you would know for sure. Like you would know for sure. Like the loop blitzes that people be doing, the, um, the A-gap blitzes that people be doing, if you watch uh, any of the Mutt series and stuff like that, championship, now there'll be some nano blitzes. And then even when you do run nano blitzes, there is, they have like nano de detection. So like, if you have somebody to get through the line and they just freeze, they got nano detected. So basically they got picked up as a nano blitz or whatever. But it's all good, man. Wish everybody the best. I appreciate y'all for watching. I just want to see what's about to happen. <clears throat> see what I'm saying? Like I'm bringing, I'm bringing everybody. I didn't even get in. Oh, that's a pick. Come on, give me that. Give me that, man. One for the road. <coughs> hey, at least my last game was dominant. They, they knew what was coming. They was like, we gotta get this man out of here. This man about to get a ring. <laughs> we gotta get him out of here, man. This man turned all the way up. This man been labbing. Well, actually, that's not what they gonna say. They gonna say I was cheating, but. I've been labbing, you know what I'm saying? Practicing. I, I spend a lot of hours in practice mode, man. Just practicing different stuff. Coming up with different um, schemes and things like that. Like, uh, and also watching the best, you know what I'm saying? I'll I, I be watching the best in the world, you know what I'm saying? Shoot, hey, I'm going to pick something up. But, um, yeah, man. That's all for this episode. I appreciate y'all for watching. And uh, as always, until next time. Take care of yourselves. Peace.